Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be changing the supercharger oil in this 2004 SVT Cobra. Uh, this is the same for the 2003 SVT Cobra, and should be a similar process for a lot of the supercharged cars. Okay, so you want to take the car around the block for a minute, just get it warmed up, not scalding hot, but just warmed up enough that the oil is going to be able to flow a little bit better. For this project, you're going to need 8 to 10 ounces of supercharger oil. And so the Ford part number for this is E9SZ-19577-A. And that's going to cost you $30.34 per 4 ounce bottle. Or you can use the GM, which is the same thing because this is uh, for the Eaton superchargers. Uh, the GM1 part number 1234-5982 at $12.85 per four uh, ounce bottle. Uh, your other option is Mobile One Full Synthetic Motor Oil, 10W30, but I'd be very cautious about that. I don't know if people just tried putting other oil, uh, motor oil in and had some failures, but I've seen some videos of people asking why their bearings have failed and they were saying that they had just put motor oil in. So uh, I'd, I'd recommend probably these. Uh, next, you're going to need a 3 16 inch hex socket uh, and then a rag because we will have some uh, overflow on this. If you want, you can put the car up in the air on a jack stand. So we just have it mounted there on the frame and we lift it back here. And what this will do is when you break loose the drain and fill plug, this will help it from uh, leaking out as bad. I'd strongly uh, suggest using gloves because the oil does smell really bad. You'll want to place a rag down in here and let it be a rag you don't mind throwing away when you're done because uh, this oil does smell real bad uh, when it's used. And uh, you will have some spillage come out of here when you open it. So uh, if you want to help with that, you can put the front of the car in the air and that'll keep some of the fluid back, but even with the car on the ground as it sits, as soon as you open that, uh, you will have some of it spill out. Next, you're gonna take your 3 16 inch hex, and uh, you're gonna put it directly into this drain and fill plug. It serves as both of those. So you wanna make sure that it's in there good and tight, and you're just gonna break this loose and slowly remove it. As you do so, uh, if the car is on the ground, it will seep out. You will also hear a very light pop uh, as it vents and uh, almost like a little hiss. And so um, just be ready for that. Okay, so now we're taking a straw attached to a syringe. You can also go buy a pump kit if you want. Um, but anyway, it just has to fit down into this little hole. Now right when it goes in, you'll hit a wall straight on so that you've got to go in and straight down. So feed the straw in into there and feed it downward. So now as you draw the syringe backward, you'll see you'll be able to siphon the fluid out. And then we're just draining this into a bottle here. Another technique you can use is take a spray bottle. This is going to be a lot faster for you. And just put the hose in. You do have to go in and a little bit around this way. But once you access it, you can just spray it and get all of it out. So now we're going to lower the car back down to get that oil forward and even lift on the back of the car to have that oil push forward. Next, we lifted the car up on that rear torque box. Also put a jack under their uh, jack stand just for safety. But uh, by lifting on the back driver's side, it's gonna tilt the supercharger forward and downward that way. And so we're just getting everything out that we can. And uh, it's a slow process, but we're getting it. Okay, so along the way you'll need to reposition that straw and just keep moving it around until you strike oil. So we should be extracting about 8 ounces worth. Okay, so now we've taken an empty container that uh, is going to help us measure this in ounces. 
So we're going to take the fluid and pour it in here and just see how close we are to our, uh, to our mark. All right, we're about six ounces right now. So now to fill the supercharger with new oil, we're going to lift the front of the car in the air to tilt the supercharger backward. And uh, that way, uh, when we fill it all up, we can put the plug in without it seeping out. When we took it out at first at the factory fill level, it still uh, was a little bit overfilled to the point where the oil was coming out. So if we have the car in the air like this and we go to put the oil in, we can put the uh, plug back in without it seeping out and it'll just be a little cleaner this way and we won't lose any oil. Okay, so we're taking these uh, caps that come with it and so we, we cut the tip off of this one here and we're attaching a straw to the end of it. Then we cut the tip off the other one and we're just going to pour this in now. We got about a little over six ounces out of it, so that's what we're going to add back in. And so we're just going to very carefully pour this in, take it slow. Okay, so remove the straw, and uh, we've tilted the car. We have the car up in the air, so um, none of you're not going to have a whole bunch of it seep out. And we know that we're putting in as much as we took out, maybe adding just a tiny bit more to that. So um, anyway, with a, with a car up in the air like this, it's going to help it from spilling out. Now just wipe up all the excess residue of any spillage. So now we're gonna lower the car back down. Okay, then go ahead and start it up just to make sure everything's good. And then after you drive the car around for a while, you just wanna check underneath that fill plug slash drain plug and just make sure that nothing has come out 